Would you stand, please? I want to welcome you to First Assembly. We're honored to host this second annual Acts 6 4 conference, and we're certainly delighted you are here. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will have His way in every service. Every service. Amen. Amen. From Isaiah chapter 41, keep silent before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. That's what we need to do during this meeting. Renew strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment, who raised up the righteous man from the cast, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him and made him rule over kings. He gave them as the dust to his sword and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursueth them and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning, I the Lord the first and with the last I am he. The isles saw it and feared, the ends of the earth were afraid, drew near and came. They helped every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. Turn to your neighbor and tell him, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer, him that smote the anvil, saying, it is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails that it should not be moved. That's what we are here is to encourage each other. Encourage each. If we can leave here encouraged, it will be worthwhile. Amen. All of the effort Amen. that we put forth in coming to encourage one another. But thou, Israel, art my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. That's what we are. That's the greatest thing that can be said about any one of us is that we are a servant of God. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Aren't you glad? Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Somebody ought to shout amen. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Lift your hands and give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be his name forever. Blessed be his name forever. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Well, I woke up. This morning feeling fine oh, I woke up with heaven on my mind I woke up with joy in my soul oh, For I knew the Lord had control And I knew I was walking in the light oh, For I knew I'm 
with Jesus all the time. We're walking and talking as we climb. We're traveling the road to the sky.
hallelujah Oh, how wonderful Oh, how wonderful And my song Oh,
why don't you lift your hands and just worship him in your own way for a moment. Tell him in your own words how wonderful he is, how gracious he is, how compassionate he is, how loving he is, how powerful he is. He's our protection. He's our provider. He's our purpose. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you tonight. Truly, we can say how marvelous, how wonderful. Well, why don't you turn around and shake someone's hand, hug someone's neck, welcome them to the opening night of the Act 6-4 Conference 2015. conference committee we want to welcome you to the opening night of this conference what a fantastic turnout we have ministers have traveled all day to make this conference there are ministers here from the northwest from the northeast ministers have joined us from the midwest the north and most importantly the south I told them Sunday night while I was preaching, it's funny how time changes things. About a week ago, I was praying as a University of Texas Longhorn fan. I was praying for the destruction of Arkansas. <laughs> but this week, I've changed my mind, and I'm praying for God's bountiful blessings to fall upon Arkansas. It is absolutely our pleasure to be hosting this conference in this wonderful church. Aren't you appreciative of Van Buren First Assembly of God and all that they provide for us? We want to make just a few quick and necessary announcements. Number one, live streaming is provided each and every service. That will include the prayer meeting that I will mention momentarily. And if you or your congregation would like to follow us via the live stream, you can do so at www. Dot vbfatv.com vbfatv.com and for those that are joining us from around the nation via the live stream we welcome you we want to go ahead fantastic thank you we want to make you aware that directly through the back of the sanctuary, there is an exhibit hall. You can walk straight down the hall. We have a number of exhibitors that have joined us, evangelists, missionaries, vendors. There's all types of things, and we encourage you to go back and view those exhibits. On Wednesday and Thursday between the lunch and the beginning of the 2 o'clock session, there will be a tour provided of Memory Lane. Memory Lane is now a special Alzheimer's unit, correct, Pastor? that has been recently built right here on the property of the church. We took the tour just a couple of days ago, and it is absolutely remarkable. It is stunning. And we would encourage you over the next two days to avail yourself to Memory Lane. It is absolutely fantastic. Following the service tonight, for those of you that would like to eat and stay close to the hotels, not drive to a restaurant, the men here at the church have opened up the concession stand. You can walk directly out the rear doors of the sanctuary, go straight down the hall into the event center all the way back, and the men have a number of items prepared for us to purchase and to enjoy. Following tomorrow morning's service, there will be a luncheon provided. These are free luncheons on both Wednesday and Thursday. We have just enough space for 450 people to be seated in the gymnasium. We are right now hovering at the 400 mark. We have room for about 50 to 60 walk-ins. And if you would like to have a free lunch tomorrow and Thursday, you can go out the back doors immediately. Did you catch that word? Immediately. Following the service. And you can see Debbie Dunn, the administrative assistant, and she will see to it that you are signed up for those luncheons. Let's go over the schedule for tomorrow. 
9 a.m. in the morning, there will be a prayer session led by none other than Thomas Trask. And we are here this week to pray. I said we're here this week to pray. I said we're here this week to pray. To seek the face of God. And that will be led corporately, and we're going to have time of individual prayer. Be here at 9 o'clock. That will conclude about 9.50, 9.55. At 10 o'clock, the worship team from Central Assembly of God in Houghton, Louisiana, will lead us into the presence of the Lord. And then we're going to be privileged to have in this pulpit Pastor Billy Nickel of First Assembly of God, Amarillo, Texas. He is the West Texas Secretary Treasurer. He is a preacher's preacher. And you're going to enjoy him thoroughly in the morning. We will break for the luncheon. At 2 o'clock, we'll meet back. And Pastor Brian McDonald of Faith Assembly of God is going to lead us into the presence of the Lord. And then we are so privileged to have Dr. Adana Otwell from Southwestern Assemblies of God filling this pulpit. She will bless you. And you're going to want to be in that service. And then tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, we are going to be led into the presence of the Lord. And then we are so privileged to have seated right here on the second row, my superintendent, from North Texas, Brother Rick DeBose. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be a great day. I said it's going to be a great day. I know it's the first day. I know a lot of you have traveled many hours and many miles, and you might be a little weary, but let's press into the presence of the Lord tonight. Amen? Give the Lord a hand of praise, if you will, please. Praise the Lord, everybody. I feel at home in the presence of the Lord. How many of you are glad to be Pentecostal? Yeah. Hallelujah to his name. And we've gathered from all four corners of this nation just to lift up the name of Jesus and let God give us a refilling of the Holy Ghost so we can go back to our communities and win them for the Lord Jesus Christ. All through the past few weeks, we've been asked one question over and over and over. How much is the registration fee for the Act 6-4 conference? And we have told them, zero. And everyone said, really? And we said, yes, this is a faith operation, and we're going to let the Lord pay the bills. One of our older brethren said, I hadn't heard that in so long. I didn't know God still did that. <laughs> How many of you are glad God still meets all of our needs? <laughs> Hallelujah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to receive an offering tonight. And those of you who want to invest in what God is doing in this meeting, it's a grassroots gathering of Assembly of God ministers, ministers' wives. There is a small committee that invites the speakers. When we invite the speakers, we tell them we cannot promise you an honorarium or travel expense, but if you'll come, we'll trust God with you to meet all of your needs. First of all, I'm glad we have speakers that are willing to do that. Second of all, I'm glad that in this Holy Ghost atmosphere, there's enough money to meet every need right now, tonight. And nothing would uh, thrill my soul more than to bless each one of these men and our lady preacher with an overflowing offering of love. Tonight, the brethren are coming. If you're making out a check, make it out to First Assembly. We appreciate Brother Johnson's uh, men for helping us and uh, their bookkeeper for helping us with all of the business this week. Let's bow our heads together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, the God, our provider. I thank you, Lord, that when we live by faith, and Lord, when we believe in faith, that faith gets us the things that will meet our needs. You're aware, Lord, of our spiritual need and the financial need. Speak to people's hearts tonight. Let them give as unto the Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. And as you give, we're going to be blessed as second generation comes to minister in song.
We've come too far on this journey to ever turn around and go back. Amen? I've come too far to look back again. There is nothing behind me. All the treasures I used to love, they've all Thank you. 